For the last 10 years, we invested quite a lot of political energy in ameliorating the functioning of EFSA. And we reached quite some progress. The revolved doors, more transparency, uh, less uh, influence of uh, GMO-based uh, industry. But there is a long way to go. The national experts that we meet today do explain us that um, EFSA is still not always listening to the expertise and the know-how of the member states and that should change. Knowing as well that with the ongoing uh, negotiations on TTIP, the free trade agreement between the United States of America and the European Union, there is an extra influence of the US uh, companies to uh, have an impact on the decisions of EFSA. There are three points I want to address in the risk assessment of GMO. The first thing is that the um, applications are still that bad that they give no basis to deny risk. The second is that uncertainties are not addressed. And the third is um, that the GMO and its management practice to uh, be considered at the whole. Uh, substantial equivalence was a concept which was introduced many years ago mainly for food and feed assessment for genetically modified organisms. Uh, however, this concept is a very narrow one and needs improvement. It needs improvement because there is a lack of a clear definition of this concept. There is also a lack of development of this concept over time. So we believe that this concept is too narrow and doesn't reflect the complexity of risk assessment for GM food feed or for genetically modified uh, organisms to be used in the environment. From a scientific point of view, I think there are three things that can be done to vastly improve the risk assessment performed today. First, we need independent research um, and then we need accessibility to the research materials. These things go hand in hand and it's really important to drive that independent research forward. Thirdly, but perhaps most importantly, it is to improve the data provided by the applicant today that is the basis for the risk assessment. Um, today, the, the, the quality of that data is not up to scientific standard and that is also reflected in the comments made by the member states which you can see in the register of questions on the EFSA webpage.